What is good, everybody? Today we're taking a look at the Jazzwares Vault exclusive AEW Unrivaled Death Triangle 3 pack. Now, this is Jazzwares Vault exclusive, so the only way you can obtain it is in the aftermarket or the Jazzwares Vault, which I do believe it is in stock right now. So, if you guys want this, it is a 1 of 3,000 exclusive. So, pretty limited on this pack right here, but I'm pretty excited for it. We got it in our big unboxing the other day. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check that out. We had the big unboxing. We got the Death Triangle 3 pack. We also got the Ring of Honor Danhausen that we did review yesterday. Definitely check that review out as well. Those are both available on the Jazzwares Vault, but I'm excited for this AEW Death Triangle. I love this logo on the front. I think it's such a sick logo. I would honestly get that tattooed if it... I would probably put that on my body forever. If it, I, I'm dead serious. I think my right elbow's open. I, I don't know, man. Who knows? This looks pretty damn good. Theo, what you think? But on our slip cover here, it says 141, and then on the gold sticker, it's kind of hard to see, but it does say one of 3,000. Nine pieces. You have this nice slip cover on there. If we spin it around, it does have Pinta. It has Ray Phoenix. It has Pac on the back, and it does say Death Triangle. They have their trios championships. You have the international championship. These guys are looking damn good. I'm liking everything I see here, but the main portion of the packaging is when you take this slip cover off right here, and as you slip this off, you will reveal the figures underneath, and this is some of the better packaging that I've ever seen from Jazzwares and AEW. You can see that it kind of unfolds here, and you have Pac in the middle, you have Ray Phoenix, and you have Pinta on the right side there, and they all just look so damn good, but they do fold up in this like trapezoid-like shape. So you guys can see they're in like a trapezoid shape all together, but they do come unclassed. And then on the back, it has Death Triangle, it has Ray Phoenix, and on each individual little, I don't know, cylinder or piece of triangle, there's like three different triangles. There's one triangle, two triangles, three triangles. You make Death Triangle, there's three sides, that's a triangle. You have Penta, Pac, and Ray Phoenix, and it has Death Triangle and AEW on each one, and then on the other side, which we took a look at, you do have each figure individually packaged, and they look really good. I love this packaging, and I don't think, honestly, that the video is really doing it justice. It looks like they're imprisoned in, like, uh, one of those sectors where, you know, like, the villain gets captured. That's what it looks like. It looks like each one of these guys is a super villain, and they're being trapped so that they don't put evil out into the world, is what it looks like over here, but you have the same Jazzwares Vault exclusive sticker here, one of 3,000, and then you have your three individual talents but that is pretty much your packaging for these guys. I think it's awesome. It's, again, one of my favorite packagings that AEW and Jazzwares has done so far. But what we're going to do is crack all three guys out of these packagings. Out of this packaging, I should say. Pop them open, see what they're about, take a look at their accessories, and get into Pac, Ray Phoenix, and Penta. So here's our Death Triangle set out of the packaging. I posed these guys around. I have done the rounds, and I am enjoying all of these different things, man. But until the rotating base is fixed, I tried to go get a battery yesterday for my rotating base, and they didn't have any. I don't think so. I gotta go order one. I think I gotta get one off of Amazon. So that is on the way. So until that arrives, we do not have the rotating base for the reviews, which makes me sick. But until then, we'll just have to get through it together, man. But what we're gonna do is take a closer look at every accessory you get in this pack. So we're gonna put all three of their accessories together. Since they don't have, you you know, they don't come with a ton, but they do come with similar accessories and interchangeable hands. What we're doing is going to put all their accessories together, take a closer look at those, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at each figure individually, take a look at some comparisons, and wrap up this three-pack review of the Death Football Triangle. So we are taking a look at every single accessory that you get in this Death Triangle three-pack with Penta, Pac, and Ray Phoenix. And so I threw all of the accessories in there with all the interchangeable hands. No interchangeable heads here, but we do get plenty of gold. We get some interchangeable hands. And I think this is the first time I've had a loose international championship from AEW, if I'm not mistaken. But the title belt looks damn good. I actually prefer this championship a lot. I like it. I like the big plates and everything going on with it. I think all of the plates look really clean here. Very nice. I, I appreciate this championship. The size isn't too big either. I think the size is pretty, pretty on the money, you know, compared to other championships we've seen from AEW and Jazz wears and hell sometimes even WWE and Mattel you would get some of that oversized championship but I think that this looks really good so I am pleased to see this. This isn't the first time we're getting this, but this is the first time I think I have this in my collection. I think it also came in that Amazon exclusive four pack with Orange Cassidy, and I never unboxed that one. So this one looks good. I like this a lot. Very great. Happy to have this. And I like the little gold little pieces here on the end. That's a nice detail that they included. This is very good. Good championship. Outside of that, what would the trios championships be without all three of them? So we do have the trios championships here, three copies of the same title. So you will get the full set there that look really good and again on sizing this size is pretty good I think they nailed it for the most part I don't think it's oversized so it is nice to see that and, and again they did add the little I, I forget the damn name of this but the little 
God, the little divots or whatever the hell you want to put there. I cannot, that my mind is a piece of shish this morning. But the trio's championships look really, really good. Side plates look good. The gold look good. The gold look good. Come on, man. Get it together. I told you my mind's a piece of shish. But all three of these are very clean. I love how bright and gold they are. Pretty solid. I think every championship for the most part in AEW looks good. And I think they nailed it with the trio's title. So I'm happy to finally have these in my collection. I have had some customs made that look good. But I am happy to report that the... Final product from the company itself, mass produced, also looks very good, so that's good to see. But we do have the AEW World Trios Championships to go along with our international title. And last but not least, we do have the interchangeable hands. You have the signature hands for Ray Phoenix, and I will say it looks like his skin tone's a little bit darker than it's been in the past, which we'll see in the comparison shot. But we do have his taped fingers and left taped hand here, which looks good, and it has a white peg, so that's good. But his tattoos are also on there. But then over here, you will see that we do have some inconsistencies with the tape. So he has his fingers taped and his thumb taped and his hand and then on this side the hand tape fell off so I don't know if that's mid-match it fell off or they just forgot to include it or whatever but we've seen some inconsistencies like that before with Ray Phoenix and then for interchangeable hands with Pac you do get plain fisted hands which are the newer mold this is the newer fist mold not the older fist mold that we saw with the Young Bucks this is that newer fist mold we saw with the Walmart exclusive Bucks and then Pac comes with a right mic holding hand and then a left grappling style hand so each guy comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands but some of them come with offset hands that aren't necessarily identical but this is the interchangeable hands with Pac so you get the left wrestling grappling hand and then the right mic holding slash weapon wielding hand and then for Penta's interchangeable hands the left hand is a gloved relaxed hand it does even have like the signature details in here so that's good I like that they included that I do wish we got another gloved hand with the signature pose so the only signature pose you get is the black taped hand but you do get the tattoos in there and they look a bit light on the skin tone but I do believe that is the skin tone of the figure this time but you do get the black hand tape and he does have the black pegs in there which also add to it but then he has the left fist with the gloved you know removed there so you get one gloved relaxed hand and then a fist i would have liked to seen a gloved hand for the right hand and it would have been cool to get gloved fists but i'll take what i can get i guess with this death triangle three pack but that is all of our accessories. So getting into Ray, man, starting out with the head sculpt. This is a brand new head sculpt. We've never seen this head sculpt before. It does look similar to other ones, but it is brand new. You'll see that the mask sculpt's a little different. His facial expression is a little different, and I like it. I like the, like, zebra-style, like, lame-style print coming off. The gold looks really good, and it may look a bit off, but it actually is pretty good. The lips are actually printed on there nicely. It looks very clean, and I like it a lot. It's a very good head sculpt. I like it a hell of a lot. I like the zebra print silver on the back just a very good clean aesthetic mask and ray phoenix is always bringing the heat on his attires but going down you'll see that i don't know if you guys can tell the skin tone is definitely darker than it's been in the past but all of the tattoos look really good and they look clean they're not super light or anything i think they did a great job on these you're still getting the pins in the joints which really doesn't bother me all that much i guess honestly it on the legs it doesn't bother me as much as the arms the arms it bothers me a little but i am not one of those that really is that picky about it but he has white wrist tape in there you have all the different tattoos to deco going all the way around very clean aesthetic going on for the Ray figure. And then he does have his zebra print in silver and black here. Very cool attire. It does look similar to his unmatched figure, which we'll see in the comparison shot. But I will say I'm happy to report that it looks good and clean. I love all of the zebra print, the white, gold, the silver, the black. It all contrasts well. The white packed in looks good. You get these Phoenix logos. It just looks very aesthetically pleasing. Whoever does his gear does a fantastic job. But he does have the white knee pads in there with the little flame designs coming off. And then he does have his triangle there in gold and then he does have his nice sculpted phoenix style kick pads in there with the gold feet that just looks so aesthetically pleasing man it's just a very toyetic guy which if you have uh collected AEW figures at all you'll know that he's very toyetic but he can also pose around well he's got a good ab crunch in here he can look up pretty good down pretty decent as well since he is in a mask but you get all the standard articulation of an AEW unrivaled figure and he doesn't feel loose or anything so that's good the kick forward is pretty standard right there. Pretty good toe kick there. Can't go back because of the butt cheek, but you do get the thigh cut. You do get the double joint knee. You get shin cut. Kind of wish that the lower leg wasn't sculpted like this and it was an actual kick pad that had this on it. So if you would have had like a short little, you know, lower leg mold and then you had a full kick pad instead of cutting midway through the kick pad would be better. But I still like it. His feet go down and up. He has a decent ankle pivot. I don't like the foot articulation as much because it's kind of hard to move up because of this sculpt here. But he can get the job done for the most part. 
and he can do the split seats because he is on, you know, ball joints. So that's just what AEW figures do. But this Ray Phoenix is very nice, and he will compete with the better Ray Phoenixes of the world, which I do want to get into a comparison shot so you guys can see every single Ray Phoenix we've seen so far from AEW and Jazzwares. And you can make your selection here. So for your Ray Phoenix figure comparisons, here is every single Ray Phoenix we have seen so far from AEW and Jazzwares. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this figure is darker. I would say this skin tone is more of that Mattel Eddie Guerrero skin tone. It's very similar to this, but even these two look a bit different. His tattoos are very dark on here. This one's pretty light, as you know, the Supreme's pretty light, to be honest. And these two are pretty light. But you can see the differences. You have like three black attires, and then you have this white attire, and then you have this kind of silver and white attire. But all of them are very toyetic and nice. But, I mean, you might be able to give it to it that this one looks the best. I like the skin tone the most on this one. I, I don't know. Like, this one's amazing. I love the Supreme. And I love the most recent Unmatched figure. But, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're very similar for sure. But they're not identical. Like, you can tell in the tights they are a bit different here. So, you know, while they do have, like, similar gears, I would say that the new one is a little bit better probably. So, I actually like the white mask. I think this is the best Ray Phoenix head sculpt we've seen for sure. But... You can make your selections there, but that is your Ray Phoenix that you get with the Death Triangle 3-pack. So getting into Pac at the top of the head sculpt, this is something that AEW and Jazzwares has kind of struggled with, man. Getting the Pac likeness. Now, if you want a really good Pac head sculpt, you just take it from the BEW formula, which we'll take a look at in the comparison shot. It's the best Neville slash Pac head sculpt I've ever seen in my lifetime, and it continues to reign supreme, and it's been, it's like a 7, 8-year-old head sculpt. So that just speaks to how damn good it is. Never forget when the beard fell off. Only real ones remember that, but... This head sculpt is, is okay. I don't like how sloppy it gets at the bottom. I don't really mind that it's sculpted in the face right here. I would prefer that it's not in the face, but I do. It kind of looks like Ciampa right there. Jesus Christ, look at that. It looks just like Tommaso Ciampa. But, you know, the hair goes down in the face there, and you got the ear sticking out. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I do like a messy head sculpt, but I don't like how, like, droopy it gets right here instead of being individually sculpted hairs. And I know that's difficult to achieve, but I don't like how it looks like a puddle or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it continue like that? I don't know. It's a bit weird, but it's also just, I don't know. It's just an odd choice there. But nonetheless, I do like the rest of the figure for the most part. I'm not the biggest fan of the torso that is used on Pac, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen for sure. I just think that guys like Adam Cole and Roderick Strong and Pac and these guys that are this middle, even FTR, they just look a bit weird in the midsection and they make them look too wide and instead of too, you know, like length compared to width is a bit off. I think the ratio is a little off, but I think Pac is one of those that gets away with it a little bit more than other guys such as Adam Cole and, and guys like that, but the bicep bands look good. The biceps are pretty big for the most part. He has his black wrist tape in there. I really like these tights, this off gray. So what it is, it's like a charcoal gray with dark black and then a lighter gray, and it looks really, really good. I do see a little bit of black poking through, but it's not too bad. I like these tights a lot, actually. I wish that he had some sort of, you know, graphic on there, but I still like the tights regardless. It reminds me of that old heel Cruiserweight Champion Neville is what it reminds me of, but I do like these tights a lot. He has his standard thighs in there, black knee tape. Same knee pads this man's rock forever. He's just had the same knee pads for a decade almost, it seems like, but does have the standard black kick pads in there. Kind of plain Jane, but he's not more, you know, he doesn't really care about his gear, man. Ever since, you know, he was babyface Neville, and then all of a sudden, when he turned to the dark side, man, never looked back. He's just an evil son of a bitch now. But in terms of articulation, he can look down a little bit, and he can look up a little bit as well. Ab crunch is pretty decent there. He can do all the diaphragm movement you need. All this, he feels buttery smooth, you know. He's got double-jointed legs and arms. He can kick forward pretty good there. Double-jointed knee. A little bit loose on that bottom half right there, but he does have kick pad rotation, which Series 3 did not have, and I'm going to let him hear it every time they don't give me the kick pad rotation. Gotta have the kick pad rotation, man. Boot swivel and kick pad rotation has to be a thing. Thigh cut has to be a thing, man. You can't be out here only having, like, no th thigh cut or shin cut is just abysmal for me in 2024. I think the more articulation, the better for sure, but let's get into some Pac figure comparisons. And then we'll take a look at some other things here. But for your Pac figure comparisons, here is our Unrivaled Series 3 and our Unmatched Series 7, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. And the skin tones here look really good. I like this skin tone better than this grayish style skin tone. This looks a lot more healthy. It looks a lot more, I don't know, it just looks a lot more realistic. But you could take your pick here. I would say this is the best Pac we've seen. I like this attire the most. And I think I like this head sculpt the most. This one looks a bit weird. This one was very weird as well. I think this one is the better one. But if you want a real good Neville figure, 
the Elite 55 with this custom BEW head sculpt on there that I had made years and years ago. Look at this right here, man. This head sculpt right here, it, that is still the cream of the crop. Shish looks so good. The beard and the hair and everything, man. I just love this. That's King Neville right there. He looks so damn good, and I, I love that Elite 55 Neville. I remember finding that at retail. Hated the head sculpt. I said, BW, let's do some magic. And look what he did. I mean, good God. This this head sculpt right here, this on this figure would actually be, that might be a surgery right there. We'll have to see. But only thing is we don't want his beard to fall off, which is something that could definitely take place. And need to actually, you know what? I need to get this update. We need to redo this. That's that's something we need to do in 2024. So getting into Penta, man, this head sculpt gives me like Rey Mysterio Elite vibes is what I'm getting. I'm getting kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me a lot of like that ringside exclusive Flash Rey Mysterio, like that chip monkey style head sculpt a little bit i don't know that's kind of just the vibes i'm getting here um the eyes are just a bit painted weird i think the likeness is good and the face paint's good the mask sculpt's ridiculous i think all the paint apps on this sculpt is very good as well but i think that the it's either the eyes or just the expression just looks a bit odd here but i will say we've had plenty of you know we have some tongue out head sculpts we have some straight faces we have some yelling so this one with the mouth open like this kind of smiling yelling isn't that bad and you know we'll do a comparison in a minute but Penta is so damn toyetic that I don't think it matters. Like, look at this shish. They even got the tattoos on the throat right there. You have the uh, the bodysuit here, or, you know, his standard. I don't even know what the hell you'd call this, you know, but he looks damn good. I love the black and silver and white. It's a very it's a very underrated aesthetic is the black, white, and silver. But all the tattoos look very phenomenal. I, I just, dude, Penta is just such a toyetic beast. Everything this man does is to the top notch, and I'm just so happy to finally have so many high... You know, we waited years for just a highly produced now nice articulated Penta figure and while you know these figures aren't perfect by any stretch they may get a little loose over time but in terms of aesthetics I mean this guy knocks it out of the park every single time you do have your black and white wrist tape in here the gloved hand like I talked about and the accessories you got the waist waistband in here which I don't know like they're so different too you know when you look at the figure catalog as a whole from AEW and Jazzwares Penta still nails it and I think that you know the tights look good here with the black and silver paneling the white and the dragon logos coming through kick pads this is really unique and I don't think it's going to come across on camera but his shin pads right here or his kick pads on his shins have this frosty light blue glittery looking thing going on and it doesn't even come across on camera it's very hard to see but it's so damn cool in real life and it looks very good I I don't know if you guys can see it if you can see it please let me know but it's like a frosty, bluish, silvery ice color, and it looks so good, but it's so subtle. It's kind of similar to his his red figure, you know, in the, like, the abs and stuff on that silver. It's kind of, like, iridescent a little bit. Very, very clean. Very nice. He's got the white outsoles in there, which is always underrated. Guy is just killing it, man. Guy is killing it, but he can look down pretty good. Can't look up that much, but, and his ab crunch is, mm, it's pretty, you can get a decent ab crunch before he pops off, but it's not, like, the greatest ab crunch of all time, but it is, it's serviceable. I'd say. All your standard articulation here, the double jointed arms and the bicep rotation and everything like this. He can kick forward pretty damn good, I'd say. I cut shin cut. Oh, it's a little stuck on the shin cut, but it's there. You do have the feet going down and up. You get the ankle rocker. Very good stuff in general, man. The only thing that worries me about Pentas figures is over, like, I don't know, if you pose this guy around for a little bit, he's gonna get he's gonna get loose pretty quick-like, but aesthetically, if you're just displaying him on a shelf, you could get some figure photography done with him. It's just, I don't know, pick-fetting purposes, he is difficult to do a pick-fed match with, unfortunately. So here's our Penta figure comparisons from release in chronological order, I'm pretty sure. These two were hitting about the same. This one may have came a little bit after this one, or vice I'm pretty sure this one came after this one, but they're very similar. But you do have the Unrivaled Series 2, the Unrivaled Series 6, the Supreme Series 3, the Unmatched Series 7, the Unmatched Series 8, and the Death Triangle Jazzwares exclusive on the very right. But you can see all of them have their own look, man. I mean, you have, like, yeah, you have some black and silver here and there. You have some black and white here and there. But for the most part, all of them have their own very unique look, their own very unique, you know, head sculpts and things and masks and whatnot. So I like all of them in their own ways. And in comparison, I mean, this isn't my favorite head sculpt here, but I would still probably say that his Supreme's the best out of all these. But in terms of his unrivaled figures, I mean, this one could, you know, this one stands a chance, I would say. I mean, all of them feel very similar in hand. All of them pose pretty much the same, but all of them are very, very different in their own way. And they look damn good. I mean, it's kind of crazy how good these things look. Uh, I do want to do a head swap right here just to kind of see if what this... Uh, 
because this figure right here I did not like whatsoever this new one matched but maybe you could put this yelling head sculpt onto this new one and I think you could get more of that effect there so that looks pretty damn good to me look at that that all black mask so that's pretty that's pretty good I don't know but yeah, that is your Pentagon figure comparisons. But I think that about wraps up our Death Triangle Jazzwares Vault exclusive three-pack review. I really enjoy the set. I really do. I think the championships look really, really good. And I think all three of them, like the POC is absolutely worth the upgrade. This is the best POC that they've made. You get the international championship. You get the trios titles. And I mean, you are getting some very good versions of Penta and Ray Phoenix. I know we've gotten those many times over. But I mean, hell, even if it comes to selling off some of your other versions and getting these, I think it's worth the upgrade too, man, because I think that the championships are great. Or even if you want to buy the pack and just keep the titles and sell the Penta and sell the Ray Phoenix, I mean, you could do that as well. I know you don't necessarily want to do those things, but... I think it's a nice set, and hell, even if you want to keep it mint on card, it's a beautiful set, man. The packaging is unreal. I think that the Death Triangle little sleeve thing is sick as hell, too. So, if you're a mint on card collector, it looks good. If you're a loose collector, it looks good. It's just a brilliant piece overall, and I think you could even use this in your display at some point. I think, you know, if you could have all three guys showing, you pose them around, put them on your display, that would be nice as well. I like it. I am I'm an approver of this set overall, and I think it is worth the upgrade. Now, I know it's not going to be for everybody, but it is what? a one of 3,000 or something like that. So I think, yeah, I mean, if you're on the fence, I would say do it, man. Do it, and then if you regret it later, you could always, like, move it at some point or something like that. But it's a damn good set. I like all the things that I'm looking at, and I had fun in the review. I had fun posing them around, and those are all good things. So that's that, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our Death Triangle 3-pack review, man, from the Jazzwares Vault. If you guys want to grab this, there is a link in the description below for you to grab this set if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it, of course. And I don't receive anything for that. I just have it linked down below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to do so. But all three Toyetic, all three guys are killing it. And I think this is the best Pac, like I said. Uh, the Penta's up in the air. The Phoenix. Ooh, the Phoenix you could make an argument for, too. I think the last Phoenix that we got and the Supreme are pretty good. But all three of them are very good. It's kind of difficult when all the guys are so Toyetic. So, you know, it just kind of creates like a nice little mini battle. But you can let me know. But... I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so very much for everything that you guys do. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.